Hi, I'm Mary Ng. I'm the Product Marketing Manager at Learning at Cisco. We're the Cisco group that provides training materials and uh, releases certification exams for assessing technical skills. And I'm really happy to be here today addressing the Cisco technical audience, particularly the voice dudes. With me is, to double the impact, is Patrick Ng. Now Patrick is the very first CCIE voice person to have used our exciting new pro program, the Cisco 360 Learning Program for CCIE Voice. Patrick's been involved uh, throughout the beta and the pilot program, and uh, we were able to identify number 25,691, CCIE number, to join us and to talk about his experience using this learning training program to build up his CCIE level skills. So there are really three aspects that I wanted uh, Patrick to address. And we'll get to those later, but first, let's ask him a little bit about his current role at Cisco and uh, maybe where you grew up, your background, how you came here. Hi, Mary. Yeah, it's my pleasure to be here at, Thank this, you. at this interview today. Uh, let me introduce myself. Uh, my name is Patrick Ng. I've been working uh, for Cisco for nine years. Okay. So I started working with uh, ATM Switches and Network. And then uh, I work in the Network Management Technology Group as a software engineer to develop applications to manage uh, GSR, uh, gigabit switch routers, mm -hmm. and CLS1 routers. And uh, after that, I start working with uh, voice related technologies uh, for roughly two years. And um, currently, you're with the TAC, right? The Tech oh, Medicine yes. Center? Yes. And how long have you been a TAC engineer? I've been. Uh, Right now, I'm working uh, as a uh, customer support engineer in the San Jose Tech uh, organizations, uh, focusing on which media conferencing products. Mm. So that's including uh, Meeting Place, Meeting Place Express, and WebEx. And WebEx. Okay. Yes, and I also uh, work with uh, uh, contact center products, mm -hmm. call manager, uh, voice gateway, and gatekeepers. I see. So uh, this was a program you found out about right when you were trying to prepare for the lab exam, correct? Yes, that's right. So uh, could you tell us a little bit about the overall program, maybe the online components, and then also the classroom experience that you participated in as a beta student, right? Right. Um, I got first introduced to this program uh, to start with doing the practice labs. So uh, some labs are focusing on a certain technologies, voice technologies, and some labs are a full eight-hour labs. And each lab uh, is rated with uh, difficulty levels, mm -hmm. so I can pick and choose the lab, and I can practice and build my skill set from beginners to expert levels. And also, it comes with a, a certain flexibility that I can actually download the PSD and configurations and do the lab in my own voice part in my office. Ah, I see. Okay. And did you? So you did that as a way to um, have it on demand. Yes, that's right, that's right. And also, um, for the assessment lab um, uh -huh. that I particip participate in, it's actually, um, uh, I book, it, book a time slot on, on the web uh, 360 portal mm -hmm. and, um, and use the Cisco provider CCIE port to perform an eight-hour uh, labs. Eight hours, one shot. Eight hours, yes, that's right. And the result is graded by a automatic grading engine. And after that, the full report will be sending back to me to show the mistake that I made uh, in my lab. So based on the report, I can find out the weak areas that I need more focus on. It was very personalized feedback, right? Yeah, that's right. Well, um, uh, later on, we'll have a, a guest that uh, contributed to some of that online feedback. What about the classroom portion? Oh, yeah. I also attended the, uh, the week-long uh, instructor lab training. So, but uh, don't expect the training is going to teach you basic configurations. Uh -huh. I mean, students are expected to be familiar with hands-on experience with almost all of the voice technologies in the voice exam blueprint. Well, we're really appreciative that you engaged with us while we were developing material. As I understand it, uh, you had a, a distinctive teacher, right? David Mallory? Oh, that's right, yeah. And what portion did he teach uh, for you? He actually uh, teach, I mean, uh, basically on all the topics that uh, on the voice book. Unfortunately, so. that's not part of the standard product going forward, but because you were, had the ability to interact with our Cisco subject matter experts, like uh, uh, various CCIE voices, we I'm very confident we have a very robust product for creating the skill set needed to perform as a CCIE voice. Well, as I said, we're, we're doubling the impact here, but uh, I, I think that it's nice to triple the impact, tripling. So in the um, 
in the interest of really getting a, a roundtable experience, I've asked my ancient Chinese cousin, Ben Ng, to join us. Ben, as many of you know, has been the uh, heart and soul of the CCIE voice program. I think, Ben, you've worked on the original lab exam, and you came in at the end of the CCIE voice written exam, correct? Yes. Very. On the development. Yes. And so now we're tripling the impact with the three inks. That's so, Ben, I think you had some questions that you wanted to ask Patrick about how he's using his CCIE skills, the immersive experience. So, feel free. Yes, thank you, Mary, for having me here, and congratulations to Patrick. Thank you, Ben. Becoming one of the newest CCIE voice thank and you, the first to come out successful from the Cisco 360 learning program for the CCIE voice. So, if you don't mind me asking, uh, how many times uh, did it take you to pass uh, the certification? It took me uh, uh, three attempts okay. for me to pass the, the CCIE voice exam. Okay, and you did your fr uh, your third attempt after uh, the uh, participating in the program. Yes. Uh, is there any? I, I heard uh, you, uh, through the discussion about the uh, the characteristics of this program. Uh, if you were to say a few things, that's uh, very unique. Uh, components about mm -hmm. this learning program that made a difference in your, you know, final successful uh, uh, lab attempt. Okay. Um, the voice CCIE exam actually um, got refreshed uh, to version three mm -hmm. in July two thousand nine. That's right. That's the time, uh, roughly, when I was got introduced to the three sixty learning program, and um, I mean, I was taking advantage of it to, I mean, to sharpen my CCIE skills. Mm -hmm. As the program has a lot of hands-on lab scenarios, yes. which is designed by uh, Cisco CCIE voice expert. Um, okay, so as we all know, uh, get achieving the CCIE uh, certification is the is the is the beginning of a new uh, new road or path. Right. So, uh, what do you think uh, the, the the program helped you? Helped you in developing your technical skills and uh, supporting, you know, whatever you will be doing in the future. Yes. Um, basically, I mean, it's the overall program. I mean, to help uh, uh, simply to become a better engineer mm -hmm. or a better voice network engineer. Mm -hmm. I mean, to help me like to can tackle my demanding job at Cisco, and also the 360 program give me the experience that uh, help me to, um, I mean, to gain uh, CCIE expert level, I mean, in a consistent way. That's, a, that's an interesting point there about how um, in the learning program help you on the job as you were going through it too. And that it's a, we really wanted to attain a certain skill for the people who, who buy this product. But uh, I didn't mean to interrupt Ben, anything else? Or, so we, we are very, very pleased at the impact that the program has had and we're really eager to see it the same impact on many others.